Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Cool Guy coming at you again with another recorded uh, video of some things I picked up this week that I didn't really get a chance to record. But um, I'll be right back to show you what I got. Stay tuned. So we back, YouTube. I want to show you uh, what I picked up this week. A few things that I grabbed that I didn't show. Uh, I fuck uh, a few of my other contents, but I want to show that I did pick up that new Ghostbuster line. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Like the articulation, I don't know what the art on the side of the box. Then it has the bio about Egon. Alright, then I picked the uh, Vankman, pretty dope, pretty dope, looks real good, I haven't opened them up yet, I haven't decided I'm going to set them up yet, I think I might set up a little Ghostbuster stand for them, to show, uh, to show them off, same exact thing, got the same bio on the back side of, about, about Peter Vankman, then we got good old Ray, So Ray off, same exact thing. Got a few accessories in there with him. Got the famous Ray goggles in there with him. Yeah, look real dope. Same, same exact thing. Got the art on the side. Got the bio across the back side of it. Looks real good. Looks real good. Then, last but not least, that Ghostbuster line. I got Rez Winston Zedmore. I was real shocked to see him in a while. I thought I would have to pre-order him because I was hearing it was so hard to get him. Yeah, it looks real good. Got a couple accessories. Got the photon pack with him. Then they got that photon beam stream with him. It looks real nice. I like that. I like that. It would have been nice if a couple of them came with the traps. You know what I mean? With the traps that were open. Showing that they called a ghost or something. I, I thought that would have been dope if they would have got that. So then, I snagged up that NECA exclusive uh, Predator with the Thermal Vision Fugitive Predator. I was been looking for this. I was been watching on, on a couple other channels and tubes. They said it was pretty hard to come by. So I went to my local Target, I walked in there, and I was like, let me see if I can see it. And she, it was sitting on the shelf, right there in the middle of the rest of the NECA um, collectibles. So I figured I'd snag it up, and I did. It's pretty nice. Got a nice little bio on the back side about the Predator. Yeah, I like the bright colors in there, man. Can't really wait to open this guy up and see how it moves. I don't know really if I'm gonna open it up or not. I got another NECA item I picked up from NECA that I didn't. Uh, it's the Gremlin you know, with Strike. <clears throat> didn't open him up yet, uh, but I never, you know, this is my second NECA item I really bought. I'm, I haven't really gotten into it, really, a lot of the NECA products, but, you know, I'm starting to build up a little collection of NECA. They seem like they seem to be pretty 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 close to real you know it looks it looks real I like the colors how bright it is the detail I mean it's just it looks real good it looks real good it looks real good okay then I picked up this guy at the target. Haven't opened him up yet. Um thinking about building the uh devastator. So I'm trying to hunt down the rest of the parts to build devastator to see how big this thing actually is. There's a side of the view of devastator on the back side right there. But I like the I like the little art. I like the little you know the bright colors, I like the 
I mean, it looks just like the the, the devastator from the movie, man. Like me personally, man, guys, I grew up a Transformer fan. Um, I'm actually I really only collect the uh, studio version of the Transformers. I'm not really too fond of the War Cybertron ones. Um, I just I don't know. It just looks too too cartoonish to me. And these right here, they look like me exactly just like the movie, you know. I have a few other ones that I have, and you know, they look just like the movie, you know what I'm saying? They, I mean, they really do. They really do. I mean, look at that. I mean, it looks just like Scavenger. I mean, it looks like, just like in the movie, like he did in the movie. I mean, it's just, look at that. I mean, it just looks great. This looks great. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of glad to get this guy right here. But like I said, I'm thinking about building the, uh, the Devastator. Yeah, the Devastator. You know, we got a nice bio up there across the top. Big screen inspired scale detail backdrop tail appearance okay constructor con scavenger revenge of the fallen look at that looks real good and i mean just just as you guys know it's just it's pretty heavy too you know yeah, i mean it really is pretty heavy got a little bit of a little bit of weight to it the real heavy real heavy and finally, last but not least, the find of my week is that scraper. Man, I I saw the content of me finding him. I mean, like man, like I was surprised to really see him. I thought oh, I had to order him off um, offline for the uh, big bad toys. If you ever, if you guys ever get a chance. If you ever looking for anything, just want to shoot out the big bad toys, man. They 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 are they are awesome group of guys out there, um, out there. You know they they everything I've gotten from them has been packaged real good. It's been you know been handled real good. The boxes haven't been crushed up like some places you get your boxes be all crushed up and stuff. But yeah, you know these guys, man. They they really do. They really take pride in their shipping. That's a shout out to big bad toys. Big shout out to you guys. But yeah, but yeah, just want to show you guys that. Yeah. Real like that. Real dope. Real dope. Real dope. Then. I did show before that I did find, found Captain Britain. I decided to take him out of the box to see what he looked like. And man, this dude right here, man. This dude is nice. He won't stand up for me. But yeah, this dude is nice, man. Like, check him out. Real muscular. <laughs> he kind of put Captain America in the bad battery. Look, he put him to shame. Look at, look at that, man. Captain Brent put you to shame, Cap. But yeah. Real dope, real dope. I like how they gave him a little, they ain't really give him the butterfly joints on this guy right here. But they did give him the torso crunch. He got a double jointed knees, the twisted upper hip, the boots twist. You know, it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. But yeah, it's, you know, it's Captain Britain. I was lucky, I was surprised to see him. I ain't, honestly, man, like, I didn't know who he was when I first seen him. Like, because I got him from Walgreens, and the Walgreens I know to go to, uh, they keep their stuff behind glass. Because I guess they have people that come in, they try to steal. They steal the legends that's in there. But yeah. Well, yeah, I think he close to Thor. 
I think he caused the throw right there. As far as muscle-wise, I'm thinking. Let's see. Check throw out that there. Yeah. Throw, yeah. He, he close. He close to it. But, yeah, guys. I just want to come to you and show you what I picked up over this past week. A Saturday, uh... You know, Saturday's fun show, fun day, I call it. Of my pillage I've shown through the week. I hope you guys have a good Saturday and the rest of your weekend. God bless you all. Love you all. Until the next time, cool guy, cool guy out.